hit the recording button. Yes, we can begin. Welcome, Elder Kenchas. Thank you very much, my dear Elder Karuga. It's indeed a blessing to be here with you once again. I thank God very much for this opportunity. I will never stop thanking him, by the way. Um, I'm happy to be here with you. Uh, greetings to all my brethren in Kenya and good night to you as well. I hope that all is well. And even though all is not well, God is still God. And he's always working for our good. At this time, we want to begin our session because time really flies by when you're having a lot of fun in God's word. So we want to bow our heads in prayer and we want to really thank God for being here with us. Dear Heavenly Father, we want to thank you first of all for preserving our lives. It is because of your love and your kindness and your tender mercies that we are preserved. We thank you very much for all the provisions that you have made available to us to sustain our bodies physically. We thank you for your word that is able to vibrate every fiber of our being and to cause us to think and experience transformation. Bless our session this evening, wherever this broadcast goes, I pray that it would be received with a warm welcome and that Jesus would be invited into our homes and eventually into our hearts. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Okay, friends, um, we want to begin right away. And to do so, let me, uh, of course, you know, as Ella Karuga said, this is part two of our session. Before I advise that we go to the screen, we want to make sense of a few things which were said, and that is to give a little more definition as it relates to what really is GABA, what really is GABA and how it works. Remember, we are looking at the science involved in salvation and the way by which we can be totally victorious over temptation. And that simply means that it does not matter what Satan throws at you with the help of God and your choice, you can overcome. You can overcome. So victory is not just in sight. You are actually holding victory in your hands as we speak. You are holding it. All right? You are holding it. So what is GABA? Let us further define what GABA is. And GABA is spelled G-A-B-A. -A. And that is really... Uh, some letters that is an acronym, which is gamma amino butyric acid, gamma amino butyric acid. And it is a naturally occurring amino acid that works as a neurotransmitter, a neurotransmitter. Whenever you hear the word neuro, think about your brain, and the electrical circuits in your brain. So it's a neurotransmitter. And of course, transmitter should be self-explanatory, transmit. So brain transmission, that is exactly what we are saying, brain transmission. So GABA is a chemical or an amino acid that works or is responsible for brain activity brain activity, brain transmission throughout your body system. And uh, this neurotransmitter called GABA, it functions as chemical messengers. Your brain secretes chemicals, and these chemicals are messengers which are sent throughout your body. So in the lower part of your body, below your brain, your body is full of cells. And these messengers go to your cells so that they actually tell you what you are feeling and what you are even thinking. So we have to learn to listen to our body. Our body speaks to us. That is why, listen to how simple it is. That is why when you are feeling thirsty, your body tells you that. And even if you are not feeling thirsty, you still should drink water. And as it becomes a practice 
it will become habitual and you will experience health. So GABA is really considered to be uh, inhibitory. That means it inhibits, it blocks neurotransmission in the brain. It inhibits certain brain cells and it decreases activity in your nervous system. Now, now that I've introduced a new scientific term called the nervous system, allow me to quickly explain what the nervous system is and what it is responsible for doing. Your nervous system is really your body's command center. Center, sorry. It is your body's command center. It originates uh, in your brain and it controls everything that you do. Everything that you do, your nervous system is responsible for it, including your breathing, your walking, your thinking, and your feeling. So your nervous system is responsible for all of that. Let us experiment with that right now. Right now you are breathing. But before I made mention of that, you forgot that you were breathing. And a little while from now, you will still be breathing and you will be totally oblivious to the fact that you are breathing because your nervous system is in control. Now let's look at this carefully. Because from the day you were conceived and started to develop, you started to breathe, your body already has a memorized pattern of breathing. So you do not need to think to breathe. It has become an automatic habit. So you are always breathing and you are not even aware that you are breathing. Let me give you a little sneak peek. This is actually part three of this session where we will deal with the heart, the brain, the mind, the mind. So you are breathing and you are totally oblivious to that. In fact, somebody right now is probably checking to see if they are breathing. Don't be afraid, you are breathing. You are breathing. So your nervous system is really a composition that is made up of your brain, your spinal cord, and all the nerves in your body. Your nerves carry messages to and from the body, and the brain can interpret them and take action. So GABA, when things externally come to us and we begin to process what is coming at us and we know that it is a negative thought, GABA kicks in based on our memorized pattern and blocks the cells from firing. So when you would have been accustomed saying yes to a bad habit, because you are in the process of developing a good habit, GABA, which is your body's breaking system, steps in and stops these cells from firing. So it runs right through your nervous system and says, listen, I do not want this thought to develop into an action. And it presses the brakes right there and you cannot go no further. That is how our body operates. In fact, let us look at this from a very biblical point of view. Now let us look at our screen, slide number 50. This is how Joseph. So how do you think Joseph overcame? This is precisely how he overcame. That's how he did it. He was empowered by the spirit of God and his brain pressed brakes and said, how can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? Amen. Amen. He pressed brakes. And we need to know how God empowers and strengthens us. Now look at this. This is the formula. No man by himself can truly overcome. Look at what happens. It is God's grace and your choice that gives you the ability to overcome. So God empowers you to say no. And because you would have chosen that, 
Now you are strengthened, you can say no, thus increasing your chemical reactions, thus increasing your ability to break, and you do not fall a snare to Satan's devices. It's quite simple. Quite simple. So we are going to see something very interesting. Elder Karuga, I know I've said quite a lot. You can translate as you see best. Okay, thank you so much. Kwa hivyo wapendwa karibuni sana tunapokuwa tukiendelea katika fundisho hili na imekuwa tu ni utangulizi na kuzikumbusha yale ambayo tulikuwa tumeangazia katika juma ambalo liweza kupita na kumbuke kwamba tuliweza kuangazia kuhusu kemikali hii ambayo inatolewa katika bongo zetu ambayo inaitwa GABA na tukaweza kuona kwamba GABA ni kemikali ambayo inazuia seli za mwili zisije zikatuma ujumbe yani zinakuwa ni kama break na basi tukaweza kuona ya kwamba uh, uh, hii kemikali inapokuwa ikitolewa katika mwili wako ikiwa ni jambo ambalo uko umezoea ambalo ni mbaya na mwili wako uko umezoea kufanya mambo yale sasa unapoanza kubadilisha basi ile kemikali inatolewa na inazuia zile seli zisije zikatuma ujumbe tena ili ya kwamba ile tabia mbaya ambayo uko umezoea basi inaweza kuweza kuishinda na tamko lingine ambalo tumeweza kuelezewa pale ni kuhusiana na uh, system ya neva yani neva system ni system ya vile mishipa ya neva inatiririka katika mwili wako wote kuanzia katika ubongo ikipita katika uti wa mgongo na inaenda katika kila sehemu katika mwili na hii uh, system ya ya neva ndio inafanya ina mambo mengine yaendelee katika mwili wetu hata kama hatutambui kwa mfano kupumua sasa si lazima ti ukumbuke sasa na seli ni pumbu unapumua hapana kwa sababu system yako iko gangari na iko inafanya kazi vizuri basi inaendelea na kupumua hata moyo wako kupiga si wewe unaambia ngo moyo wako upige lakini system hii vile inaweza kuundwa basi moyo wako unaendelea kupiga hata wakati mwingine hujui kama inapiga lakini bado inaendelea katika ile kazi ama pia damu vile inasonga katika mwili kwa hivyo unakuja kuona kwamba uh, mwili huu vile Mungu ameweza kuumba basi uh, ujumbe unapokupitishwa katika uh, seli za mwili katika uh, nyuzi hizi za neva basi zina adhiri ama zinaingilia kila sehemu katika mwili wako ni kumaanisha basi ikiwa unaweza kujikuza kuweza kufanya jambo ambalo ni nzuri basi mwili wako utaweza kutoea jambo hilo ni kwa sababu umezoea kupumua tangu ulipozaliwa ndiposa uh, hauhitaji ati kukumbuka kupumua kwa sababu hiyo ni kitu ambacho tayari mwili wako umeweza uh, kuzoea na basi ndipo tukaweza kuona kwamba ni katika jinsi hili ndivyo Yusufu aliwezeshwa na roho wa Mungu kusema nifanyeje uwevu huu mkubwa na kumtenda Mungu dhambi kwa hivyo kwa sababu ya kuzoea kusema la kwa majaribu kwa sababu ya kuzoea kufanya yale ambayo ni mazuri basi mwili wake ulikumeandalika kiasi kwamba hata jaribu kama hili linapokuja basi anasema nitafanyaje uovu kama huu ni mtendee Mungu wangu uovu wa jinsi hii kwa hivyo tumeambiwa pia ni kweli hakuna mwanadamu ambaye anaweza kushinda majaribu kwa uwezo wake lakini kwa uwezo wa Mungu kwa neema yake ikiungana na uchaguzi wako na uamuzi wako basi mwili wako wote unaweza kutiwa nguvu ya kusema la kwa majaribu na kuweza kuishi maisha ambayo ni ya ushindi baada ya ushindi hii ni sayansi ya wokovu ni jambo ambalo linawezekana ni jambo ambalo liko ni wewe tu uliamini na uweze kuambatana na sheria ambazo Mungu ameweza kuweka za kukupatia ushindi amen and uh, over to you Ed. well amen praise the lord now, let us quickly make a statement on something that is critically important. As a people, God has blessed us with what is called the health message. And uh, I want to plug in this note here for you. Bad thinking plus good eating cannot work. Good eating plus bad thinking also cannot work. They must go hand in hand. In other words, we must eat to promote health of mind 
which will give us health of body. Remember, the brain controls the body. We just spoke about the nervous system. If we eat foods that will strengthen our brain, then we can have a good physical, moral constitution. Elder Karuga. Amen. Amen. Wapendo basi kabla tujeza kuendelea, kuna jambo ambalo mkumishi ya meza kuweka pale ili tuweze kukumbuka. Kwamba, ukifikiria vibaya, pamoja na kukula vizuri, haitakuwa na matokeo mazuri. Tena, ukikula vizuri na ufikiria vibaya, basi pia hautakuwa na matokeo mazuri. Kwa hivyo mambo haya, mawili lazima yaeze kwa batana. Kukikiria vizuri na kukula vizuri, ni vitu viwili ambavu inasaili viyeze kwa batana, ili uweze kupata ushindi. Na basi, wakati wote tunakokula, tukule ili tuweze kukuza nia. Na nia yetu ikikuzwa, basi utaweza kukuza mwili wetu, ikiwemo bongo yetu, na viungo vingine vyote vya mwili. Kwa hivyo, kula vya kula mbavo ni vya kukupatia madini mazuri, kula vya kula utie nguvu, ubongo wako utie nguvu wakili yako, na basi, Tena ikiungana na kufikiria vizuri basi kwa kweli utaweza kupata ushindi ambao Mungu ametupatia ndiposa bwana wetu ameweza kutupatia ujumbe huu wa afya. Amen and back to you elder. Praise the Lord. So let's get our screen. Let's see this from the testimonies. Let's look at it and how it goes. Every sin cherished weakens the character and strengthens the habit. And look at the results. Physical, mental, and moral depravity. No, that was from Christ Object Lessons, page 281. Now let's see a powerful one from Education, page 197. The electric power of the brain promoted by mental activity vitalizes the whole system. The whole system. And... Uh, is thus an invaluable aid in resisting disease. Elder Karuga. Amen. Amen. Basi roho nabi natuambia hivi wapendwa katika kitabu cha Christ of the Cleston ukurasa wa miambili demanini na moja inasema kila dhambi inayo kurahiwa udhoofisha tabia na kuimarisha mazoea na upotovu wakimwili kiakili na kiadili ndiyo tokeo ama ndiyo matokeo yake. Kwa hivyo Dhambi yote ambayo unafurahia inadhoofisha tabia yako na unakuwa na upotovu wa kimwili kiakili na pia kiadili ama maadili tabia nzuri. Na pale katika kitabu cha Education ukurasa wa 197 nayo nuku inatuambia kwamba nguvu za umeme za ubongo zikichochewa na shughuli za kiakili huimarisha mwili mzima na hivyo ni msaada mkubwa sana katika kupinga magonjwa kwamba ile nguvu ambayo iko katika mili yetu katika neva zetu katika ubongo wetu iki uh, ikichochewa ama ikiweza kutiwa nguvu na shughuli za kiakili basi inaweza kutia mwili wote nguvu na hii inakuwa ni msaada mkubwa sana hata katika kupinga na kuzuia magonjwa amen and back to you Ella. amen now let us get another powerful thought this time from the Ministry of Healing. Now look at how we are bringing everything together that we are looking at. The power of self-restraint. I should by now be hearing us thinking that when we hear the word self-restraint, GABA, self-restraint, GABA. The power of self-restraint strengthens by exercise that which at first seems difficult by constant repetition grows easy until look at it right thoughts and actions become habitual so self-restraint gaba when you constantly learn to mash bricks your body will memorize it and what at first seems difficult as it is repeated, it will grow easy. So we are reaching a place where 
we would have memorized our safe zones, memorized our patterns, so much so that a press break becomes an automatic action towards temptation. Victory over temptation, automatic salvation. Elder Karuga. Amen, amen. Basi wapendwa tunako kwa kiedelea katika nuku hii. Tunambiwa pale katika kitabu cha Ministry of Healing ukurasa wake uh, ni wa mia nne tisaini na moja. Tunambiwa hivi kwamba nguvu za kujizuia. Na kumbuka kwamba tunapo kuwa tukisema nguvu za kujizuia kulingana na makundisha mbao tumekuwa nayo. Basi kwa akidi yako kumbuka kusiana na kemikali hii ya mbao inaitua gaba. Nguvu za kujizuia uimarika kwa kufanya mazoezi jambo ambalo mwanzoni lilionekana kuwa gumu kwa kurudia rudia mara kwa mara linakuwa rahisi mpaka mawazo na matendo sahihi yanakuwa mazoea kwa hivyo wapendwa lazima tufike mahali ambapo tumeweza kuzoea uh, ama tumeweza kujizoesha katika njia ambazo ni nzuri tumejizoesha kuweza kuwa na break hizi kiasi ya kwamba uokovu unakuwa ni kitu ambacho kinakuja chenyewe yani majaribu inapokuja tayari mwili wako na ubongo wako umejizoesha kusema la ya kwamba ikikuja kama vile Yusufu utasema basi hapana siwezi kumkosea Mungu wangu lakini ni lazima nasi tuwe tumejizoesha tuweze kuwa na hiyo hali ya kujizuia tuweze kukubali kemikali ile ifanye kazi na kwa kurudia rudia jambo hili likuwe ni mazoea na basi kwa kweli tutapata ushindi dhidi ya majaribu. Amen and glory be to God for that point. Back to you Ella. Praise the Lord. Now look look quickly. We are going to look at the role of the will power, but before we get into that, I want you to observe closely our savior Jesus. Because what we are speaking about here because Jesus was just like you in terms of a human being our composition and our makeup. He had a human mind, a human brain, a human body. You would expect that he operated on these channels. No, Satan came to him with his temptations. Matthew chapter four. Listen to me. Instantaneously, the power of his brain resisted Satan's temptation. Immediately. So everywhere Satan turned, he could not get Jesus to sin. Because Jesus, the Bible records that it is written of me, I delight to do thy will, oh my God. Look at it. Yea, thy law is within my heart. So the law of God was recorded in the heart, the mind of Christ, and he would not subject himself not even by a thought to Satan's suggestions. So Jesus was constantly pressing brakes, constantly pressing brakes, constantly pressing brakes. But do you know what else he was doing? Constantly accelerating in the way and will of God. Elder Karuga. Amen. Amen. Wapendo basi tunapokuwa tiendelea. Kuna angalia kusiana na mpano wa wana wetu Yesu Christo kubuka. Kristo alianza kuchukua ubinadamu na kama vile maandiko inatuambia ubinadamu wa Kristo ndio kila kitu kwetu. Kristo alikuwa mwanadamu kama wewe na mimi. Alikuwa na ubongo, alikuwa na nia, alikuwa na mwili. Na basi tunaweza kutarajia kwamba naye pia utendaji kazi ulikuwa sawa sawa na kile ambacho tunasoma sasa hivi. Ubongo wake ulikuwa umezoea kufanya mambo mazuri kiasi ya kwamba hata kemikali yake ya gaba ilikuwa iko tayari kuweza kusema la katika kila majaribu Diposo naposoma pale katika kitabu cha Mathayo 4 wakati shetani anapomjaribu Yesu Kristo basi anapotoa tu jaribu hivi Yesu anasimamisha maandiko Yesu anasimamisha kinga tayari ubongo wake uko tayari kusema la kwa majaribu yote na ndiposo hata Zaburi anasema kwamba ikizungumza kuhusu Yesu ya kwamba sheria yako nimeweza kuifurahia na iko katika akili yangu ama katika moyo wangu alificha sheria ya Mungu katika akili yake Yaani kulikuwa na ile kinga ndani yake dhidi ya majaribu yoyote. Kwa hivyo hakuna vile shetani angeweza kumshawishi kuweza kufanya jambo ambalo ni mbaya. Yesu alikuwa tayari na kinga na hangeweza kushawishika na shetani hata kidogo. Alimjaribu katika njia nyingi lakini hakuweza kumpata mkombozi. Kama iliwezekana kwa Yesu, pia kwapo na kwangu yawezekana kupitia kwa neema yake. Amina and uh, back to you Ella. Praise the Lord. So the role of the willpower. 
Now, although the willpower has its place in the conflict with evil and temptation, it is not enough. In other words, it is not enough to will to do right. Willpower, no matter how strong a person is, will never be sufficient to build enough boutons. Remember, we spoke about that boutons, cells, so that we will be above temptation from the evil forces whom we wrestle against. So look at this. Your will is strong, but it is not strong enough to build boutons. It must be united with the power of God, and it must also be united with your brain in order for it to function. Because there are a lot of people who have bad vices, who has a will to do what is right, but end up doing totally wrong. Elder Karuga. Amen. Amen. Wapenda, basi tunapo kwa kiangazia jukumu la nguvu ya wamuzi. Uh, basi tunambiwa hivi, ingawa nguvu ya wamuzi ina nafasi yake katika mapambano na uovu na majaribu, lakini haitoshi. Hata mtu awe na nguvu kiasi gani, nguvu ya wamuzi kamwe haitatosha kujenga kinga za kutosha, yani zile tulikuwa naika wa butons, ili tuwe juu ya majaribu kutoka kwa nguvu mbaya tunazo pika na nazo. Kwa hivyo, nguvu yako ya wamuzi wapendwa ni ikona muhimu sana, ni muhimu sana katika mapambano dhidi ya majaribu. Lakini ikiwa peke yake haijatosha kutengeneza kinga hizi ambazo tunaita butons haijatosha peke yake uamuzi kwa sababu kumbuka kuna watu wengi ambao wanaamua wanataka kufanya mazuri lakini wanajipata wakiwa wametenda mabaya ni lazima uamuzi huu uwe umeungana na nguvu za Mungu kupitia kwa neema yake na pia kuweza kuelewa utendaji kazi wa ubongo wako ili uweze kupata ushindi ambao ni thabiti lakini uamuzi peke yake haijatosha lazima yungane na nguvu za Mungu ili zile kinga zinazoitwa buttons ziweze kutengenezwa na uweze kuwa na ushindi dhidi ya majaribu. Amen and back to you Ella. Amen. So let us go a little deeper in what we have just said. Only the mighty agency of the third person of the Godhead, the Holy Spirit can empower us in the struggle against sin. But not without our choice and consent. Not even God can make right buttons for us if we do not choose his way. So as powerful as our will is, it must be united on the side of God. It is for that reason Jesus said to Nicodemus, you must be born again. Strong wills must be united with the power of God. It must choose God's way. Look at it now. We must work out. Listen to that term, work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God which worketh. Look at this term now. In you. It is God that works in you both to will and to do. Of his good pleasure, Philippians 2.13. I trust that you understand the science that God has put in that text. Ella Karuga. Amen, amen. Wapendo wa tunapo kwa tukendelea basi. Tumeza kuona ya kwamba nguvu ya wamuzi peke yake haijatosha kweza kutengeneza kinga. Lazima yungane na nguvu za mungu. Na basi ndipo tunambio kwamba ni kupitia kwa wezo mkuu wa nafsi ya tatu ya ungu. Yani roho mtakatifu anaeweza kututia nguvu katika mapambano dhidi ya dhambi lakini si bila chaguo na kujisalimisha kwetu hata Mungu mwenyewe hawezi kututengenezea kinga nzuri yani buttons ikiwa hatutachagua hatuta njia yake kwa hivyo lazima tuchague njia zake wapendwa lazima tuweze kuchagua njia za Mungu ndiye ndipo tunapoungana naye basi atengeneze ma atengeneze zile kinga katika bongo zetu niposa kumbuka Yesu alimwambia Nikodemus ya kwamba la, inakustahili lazima uzaliwe mara ya pili ni uchaguzi wa mbue uweze kuzaliwa mara ya pili na basi tunaambiwa pale katika kitabu cha Wafilipi mbili mstari wa 13 ambao tunakuja sasa kuelewa vizuri 
sayansi ya hii ambayo tumekuwa tukijifunza katika ile kovu inasema tufanyie kazi wokovu wetu wenyewe work out your own salvation tufanyie kazi wokovu wetu wenyewe kwa kuogopa na kutetemeka kwa maana ni Mungu atendaye kazi ndani yetu kutaka kwenu na kutenda kwenu kwa kulitimiza kusudi lake njema amen and back to you elder praise the lord so when the soul surrenders itself to christ and new power takes possession of the new heart a change is wrought which man can never accomplish for himself it is a supernatural work bringing a supernatural element into human nature but unless we yield ourselves to the control of Christ we shall be dominated by the wicked one we must inevitably be under the control of the one or the other of the two great powers that are contending for the supremacy of the entire world elder karuga amen amen wapendo tunapoendelea tunaambiwa hivi nafsi ijapojisalimisha kwa kristo nguvu mpya samahani nafsi inapojisalimisha kwa kristo nguvu mpya humiliki moyo mpya mabadiliko yanafanywa ambayo mwanadamu hawezi kamwe kuyatimiza kwa uwezo wake mwenyewe ni kazi sio ya kawaida inayoleta kitu kisicho cha kawaida katika asli ya mwanadamu lakini tusipojisalimisha wenyewe kwa utawala wa Kristo tutatawaliwa na yule mwovu lazima tuwe chini ya utawala wa mmoja au mwingine kati ya serikali kuu mbili zinazopigania ukuu wa ulimwengu amen and back to you amen now let us go deeper into the statement it is not necessary for us to deliberately choose the service of the kingdom of darkness in order to come under its dominion listen we only we have only to neglect to ally ourselves with the kingdom of light if we do not cooperate with the heavenly agencies satan will take possession he will take possession of our hearts and will make it his abiding place the only defense against evil is the indwelling christ in the heart through faith in his righteousness so look at this when we are encouraged to have christ dwell in us we must understand exactly what god is saying it really helps us to overcome satan at any juncture again friends we must understand how god strengthens us we must understand how we work out our own salvation with fear and with trembling elder karuga amen amen wapendwa basi tunapokuwa tukiendelea katika wazo hili tunaambiwa hivi si lazima sisi kwa makusudi kuchagua huduma ya ufalme wa giza ili kuja chini ya utawala wake hapana inatubidi tu kupuuza kujihusisha na ufalme wa nuru ikiwa hatutashirikiana na mawakala wa mbinguni shetani atamiliki moyo na kuufanya kuwa makao yake kinga pekee dhidi ya uovu ni kukaa kwa Kristo ndani ya moyo kupitia imani katika haki yake kwa hivyo wapendwa si lazima uchague kuwa katika upande wa shetani kwa kusudi lakini ukikosa kujisalimisha katika utawala wa Mungu ukikosa kumchagua Mungu basi utakuwa uko chini ya utawala wa shetani kwa hivyo inatubidi basi tuweze kuelewa ni kwa njia ipi Yesu anaishi ndani yetu tuweze kuelewa sayansi ya hii ambayo inamleta Kristo anakaa ndani yetu kupitia kwa imani kwa haki yake mwenyewe kwa hivyo ni jambo ambalo ni muhimu sana kuelewa kwamba Kristo akae ndani yetu. Amen and back to you Ella. Okay, we want this is actually a statement. Unless we become vitally connected with God, we can never resist the unhallowed effects of self-love, self-indulgence and temptation to sin. We may leave off many bad habits 
for the time we may part company with Satan for a time. Listen now, but without a vital connection with God, through the surrender of ourselves to him, moment by moment, we shall be overcome. Without a personal acquaintance with Christ and a continual communion, we are at the mercy of the enemy and shall do his bidding in the end. Desire of Ages, page two, three, two, four. God help us. Karuga. Amen. Indeed, may God help us, brethren. So, to Nambiwa Pale Katika Kitabu Chia Desire of Ages, to us, our Miata, to Ishirini Nane Aya Kwanza. Kwamba. Usipokuwa na usiano wa dhati na mungu, atuezi kamwe kupinga dhari zisizo takatifu za kujipenda, kujifurahisha wenyewe na majaribu ya kutenda dhati. Tunaweza kuacha mazoea mengi mabaya kwa muda, na pia kwa muda tunaweza kutengana na shetani. Lakini, basipo usiano muhimu na mungu, kwa kujitoa kwake muda baada ya muda, basi tutashindu. Bila kufahamiana kibinafsi na Kristo na ushirika wa kudumu tuko kwenye rehema ya adui na tutatafanya agizo lake mwishowe ndivyo neno la Mungu linatuambia wapendwa jioni njema ya leo amen and back to you elder amen no we are going to go into a very very serious part something that would have affected us as adults and is affecting children let me make a statement the reason why we know how to count from one to 10 easily is simply because we have done it for years. The reason why it is still with us is because our first impressions were lasting impressions. It is no mistake when we are counseled that in the early stages of a child's life, the first and only classroom should be with our God-fearing mother is a wise, very wise counsel because first impressions are lasting. Now, Elder Karuga, translate that and let's go to our screen. Okay, okay. Basi wapendwa, tunapu kwa tikendelea, tunaingia katika sehemu ambao ni muhimu sana inao kusu kukuza watoto. Kumbuka ya kwamba, kwa nini ni rais wewe kwe sabu moja hadi kumi? ni kwa sababu jambo hili lilipo kwa ndani yako pale mwanzoni na likasisitizwa na likarudiwa rudiwa mara mingi na ukaweza kulizoea basi inakuwa ni rahisi kuweza kuhesabu ni kumaanisha mambo ambayo yanaekewa mtoto mara ya kwanza yanakuanga na muhimu sana katika kujenga tabia yake ya kuweza kuendelea mbele kwa hivyo mivuto ya kwanza Ni muhimu sana maana huo inadumu katika maisha ya milele. Diposa basi ni muhimu na tunashauriwa. Ni muhimu sana katika miaka ya kwanza ya mtoto. Anapokuwa na mzazi ambaye ni mcha mungu. Basi ya kelewa jukumilake. Na kuweza kuweka maadili mazuri ndani ya mtoto huyu. Basi ya namtengenezea kinga. Anamtengenezea uh, jamba boli teza kumzuia katika maisha ya naoendelea mbele. Kwa hivyo miaka ya kwanza ni muhimu sana katika kuweza kukuza tabia ya mtoto. Amen and back to you Ella. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now permit me to make another statement. No. The Bible tells us in Proverbs 22 verse 6, train up a child in the way he should go and when he is old he will not depart. This is very touchy. That text is a foolproof text, but we need to understand it. In other words, when scripture says train up a child in the way he should go, let me simplify it for you. You can never train a fox to be a rabbit. So training up a child in the way he should go should involve two things. Putting godliness in the child's brain at an early age and observing the child's temperament. Because look at it, it is training the child in the way he should go. We ought not to train children in the way we want them to go, rather in the way he, the child, should go. 
This is a very careful note that we need to take. Parents, take a good look at your child's temperament and mold that temperament in the right way. We are not always born with evil tendencies primarily. These tendencies, if given and consecrated to God, is a power for right. Elder Karuga. Amen. Amen. Wapendo basi tunapokuwa tikendelea katika wazo hili. Uh, tunakuja kuelezeo ya kwamba ukisoma katika kitabu cha Midhali 22 aya yake ambayo ni ya sita maandiko huyu inasema hivi Mle mtoto katika njia impasayo naye hata iacha hata atakapokuwa mzee mle mtoto katika njia impasayo kwa hivyo kuna ni kweli tunaambiwa kwamba kuna mambo mawili ambayo tunastahili tuweze kuelewa jambo la kwanza hawezi kulea umbo wa mwitu awe sungura hauwezi kwa hivyo kama ni mbwa mwitu mlee katika njia yake ya kuwa mbwa mwitu kama ni sungura mlee katika njia yake ya kuwa sungura ndipo basi ile fungu inasema ya kwamba mlee mtoto katika njia impasayo yani yeye inayompasa yeye kwa hivyo lazima uweze kuzingatia mambo mawili jambo la kwanza ni kuweka uungu ndani ya ule mtoto anapokuwa mchana alakisha jambo la pili angalia ule mtoto ujue uh, tabia yake ama ni nini ambao anapenda na umlee katika njia ile si umlee kulingana na kile wewe unapenda kwa hivyo umlee kulingana na, na tabia yake na uzoefu wake yani na vile Mungu ameweza kumuumba na ukifanya hivyo basi uh, utaweza uh, kuweza kuwa ume, ume unamuongoza katika njia ambayo inampasa na atakapokuwa mzee basi hataweza kuisahau sijui ndio atumia lugha gani ambao kutafsiri jina temperament yani kila mtu anakuanga tofauti na njia yake kuna watu ambao uh, kwa mfano ni watu ambao wanapenda kuongea sana kuna wengine wanapenda tu kunyamaza hizo ni tabia tofauti tofauti za ule mtoto ama za mtu kwa hivyo ukielewa mtoto wako vile yuko mlee katika njia hiyo na katika uungu na basi itaweza kuwa umemkuza vizuri kiasi ya kwamba kiwa mzee hataweza kusahau si umlee kama we ni mtu ambao unapenda kuongea sana na mtoto wako unaona ni wa kunyamaza sasa unataka aweze kuwa kama wewe ni mfano tu unatumia kwa hivyo mlee katika uungu katika njia impasayo na kweli basi ataweza utaweza kuwa ume, umeunda tabia ambayo ni nzuri na kinga ambazo ni nzuri na hata atakapokuwa mzee basi ataweza Sahau. Amen and back to you, Elder Abisa. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you very much, my dear Elder Karuga. Wonderful. So let's look at our screen. How about trial training? Each right choice becomes another button until now the weight or collection of buttons form a strong and good habit. This happens even in child development. Why? What the child sees and hears is drawing deep lines upon the tender mind, which no, listen, which no after circumstances in life can entirely efface. It is for this reason when children are molested, troubled, interfered with at early stages in their experience, listen, they carry that until their dying day. Until their dying day. The intellect is now taking shape and the affections receiving direction and strength. And so that reason, our homes should be a place of love because our children whose brains are not totally developed whose affections are not receiving information, they will learn how to love, else if the home is bad, they will learn how to hate. And no after circumstances in life can entirely efface it. Repeated actions in a given course 
become habits. These may be modified by severe training in afterlife, but are seldom changed. Wow. Elder Karuga. Amazing, amazing. Basi wapendwa, ni vipi basi kuhusu mafunzo ya mtoto. Nambiwa kwamba, kumbuka kila chaguo sahihi, inakuwa kinga nyingine, ama buton nyingine, ambao imeundwa. Mpaka uzito wa zile kinga ama uzito wa hizo butons zinaunda tabia iliyo thabiti na nzuri. Kwa hivyo uki, uki, ukichagua jambo nzuri ama ukizoesha mtoto kuchagua jambo nzuri inatengeneza kinga moja. Akichagua nyingine kinga nyingine. Kwa hivyo zaidi zaidi anapokuwa kifanya maamuzi ama mambo ambayo ni mazuri kimwelekeza basi inatengeneza kinga ambazo ni nyingi na hizi zinaunda tabia ambao ni thabiti na tabia ambao ni nzuri. Na hii hutokea hata katika ukuaji na mafunzo ya mtoto. Tunaambiwa kwamba kile ambacho mtoto huona na kusikia kinaweka mistari mirefu juu ya akili nyororo. Ama kina, 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 kinaweka mistari ama, ama kina, kinaweka msingi katika akili yake ambayo ni nyororo, ambayo ni laini ambayo hakuna matukio ya baadaye maishani yanaweza kuyafuta. Ndiposa wapendwa wakati watoto wanapokuwa waki, waki, uh, wakitendoa mabaya, wanapokuwa wadogo, wakitukanwa, wakifanywa mabaya, basi divi gumu huyo mtoto kusahau jambo hilo na huwa analipeba hata kikoni chake. Ni mnajua kwamba mshaisikia kesi kwa mfano za mtoto ambaye ali uh, kwa mfano alibakwa akiwa mdogo jambo hilo huwa nalibeba katika akili yake hadi yanapokuwa mzee kwa sababu ni ni jambo ambalo liliekwa kwa dhabiti sana katika akili yake ambayo ni kwa ninyororo na basi na kwa ni ngumu kuweza kubadilisha tunaambiwa akili sasa inachukua sura na mapenzi yanapokea mwelekeo na nguvu matendo yanayorudiwa katika njia fulani huwa mazoea na hizi zinaweza kurekebishwa kwa mafunzo makali katika maisha ya baadaye lakini kwa mara chache hubadilika. Kwa hivyo ni kweli jambo ambalo limeweza kuwekwa katika akili ya ule mtoto baadaye kwa mafunzo ambayo ni makali ama mengi anaweza kubadilika lakini si kabisa. Kwa hivyo ni kumaanisha kwamba basi pale nyumbani kwetu tuhakikishe kuna upendo. Mtoto anapozoea kuwa na upendo basi anakuwa wa kupenda lakini akizoea kuona chuki akizoea kuona madharao pale hivyo hivyo pia naye atakuwa hivyo na kubadilisha ule mtoto baadaye ni kweli anaweza kubadilika lakini kwa mara nyingi si kwamba atabadilika kabisa ndipo tunaendelea kuambiwa katika nukuu uh, hiyo ambayo tunaweza kusoma thank you and over to you elder amen now let's look at the next section health reform all of this success right choices that we have been talking about, victorious habits and the Christian life can only be possible if our brain cells are kept healthy since our brain is the only place in our bodies where the Holy Spirit connects with us. So when the brain cells are not fed properly, we doze at the wheel of our class, as well as in our class when lectures are taking place, or in church when we go to service. We make poor decisions in our marriage and in our careers, and we become lazy, we become grouchy, we become miserable. All of these things are possible if our brain cells are not properly nourished. If it's not nourished, healthy brain cells are the result of following the eight laws of health including eating of fruits, nuts, vegetables, and grains, and avoiding animal fat and products Amen. that comes from animals. Remember, look at this. You heard this quote already. The brain nerves that connect the whole, with the whole system are the medium through which heaven communicates with man and affects the innermost life. Let's bring it up. When the final remnant have gotten the victory over the beast, his image, his mark, 
and the number of his name and reflect the character of Jesus fully, then will Christ come to claim them as his own. May we, my dear brethren, be so sealed, settled into the truth intellectually and spiritually so that we cannot be moved. Then when probation closes, we shall be, look at this term now, we shall be safe to be saved and protected in the time of trouble. Sa safe to be saved. In other words, God knows that our wires are wired properly. And it is impossible for us to be moved because we will always press brakes when need and accelerate when we need to. So the controversy will not slow us down. We may press brakes to Satan, but we may accelerate onto God's way and standard. Elder Karuga, may God bless us. Amen. Amen. Wapendo basi tunapo kuwa tukimalizia katika wazo hili la kipeke. Mambo haya yote ambayo tunazungumza pia yanaambatana na matengenezo ya afya. Na basi tunaambiwa haya yote, yani mafanikio, maamuzi sahihi, tabia za ushindi na maisha ya Kikristo yanawezekana tu ikiwa seli zetu za ubongo zitaifadhiwa kwa afya, kwani ubongo wetu ndio mahali pekee katika mili yetu ambapo Roho Mtakatifu anaungana nasi. Seli za ubongo zisipolishwa zisi ipasavyo ndipo saa tunasinzia kwenye gurudumu la gari letu na vile vile katika mafunzo darasani au kanisani au hata hapa ambapo tunaendelea na mafundisho haya unaweza pata ya kwamba kuna wengine ambao wanasinzia tunafanya maamuzi mabaya katika ndoa na hata katika kazi zetu tunakuwa wavivu tunakuwa wakorofi tunakuwa wanyonge na haya yote ni kwa sababu seli zetu za ubongo hazijalishwa vizuri wapendwa. Tunaendelea tunaambiwa, seli za ubongo zenye afya ni matokeo ya kufuata sheria nane za afya. Tunaelewa sheria nane za afya. Tukizifuata basi seli zetu za ubongo zinakuwa zimelishwa vizuri, zinakuwa na madini mazuri. Na basi uh, ikiwa ni pamoja na kula matunda, na kula njugu na kula mboga na aina mbalimbali za nafaka na pia kuepukana na mafuta ya wanyama na bidhaa za wanyama na bidhaa za wanyama ni mambo kama vile maziwa mayai vitu hivi wapendwa ni vitu vya kuepukana navyo hasa katika vipindi hiki cha mwisho ikiwa tunataka tujenge seli nzuri ambazo zitatengeneza kinga nzuri katika bongo zetu za kuweza kushinda majaribu ambayo yapo mbele yetu wapendwa tunamalizia na kuambia kwamba na pia mfumo mzima ndio njia ambayo bingu kuwasiliana na mwanadamu na kuadhiri maisha ya ndani kabisa kitabu cha education ukurasa wa na tisa. basi wakati masalio wa mwisho watakapokuwa wamepata ushindi juu ya mnyama sanamu yake chapa yake na hesabu ya jina lake na kudhihirisha tabia ya Yesu kikamilifu basi Kristo atakuja kuadai kuwa wake. Na hebu basi wapendwa, tuwe tumetiwa muhuri na kutulia katika kweli sana kiakili na kiroho ili tusitikisike. Ili kipindi cha rehema kitakapofungwa, tuwe salama kuokolewa na kulindwa wakati wa shida. Eti tuwe salama kulindwa. Yaani Tuwe tumefika hali ya kwamba Mungu anaona ni salama sisi tuweze kulindwa kwa sababu hatuwezi kubadilika kwa sababu uh, vita na pambano haiwezi kubadilisha msimamo wetu it is safe to be saved wapendwa tufike katika hali hiyo ya kwamba tume, tumetengeneza kinga ambazo ni nzuri na bora eti ya kwamba hatuwezi kutingizika hata kwa majaribio yote ile hata Mungu anapowachilia shetani ajaribu watu wake basi ya kuna usalama kwamba watu hawa hawezi kubadilika kama vile ayubu. Yaani Mungu alikuwa confident ya kwamba mtumishi huyu haezi mkana. Hebu na basi nasi kwa uwezo wa Mungu na kwa mashauri ambayo tumeweza kupatiwa, tuweze kuzingatia na tuweze kuyafuata ili tuweze kuwa tumetulia katika kweli kiakili na kiroho eti ya kwamba hatuwezi kutingizika. Amina na tumai ya kwamba 
meza kubarikiwa na wazo hilo ambalo tumeangalia jioni ya leo kweli ni mengi ambayo tumeangazia na Mungu atusaidie tuweze kuyarudia na kuyakumbuka na zaidi tuweze kupata ushindi dhidi ya majaribu tuelewe sayansia ya bongo zetu ya mili yetu ya seli zetu za neva na vile mwili wetu unafanya kazi na tuweze kuelewa jinsi ya kushirikiana na Mungu katika kukuza tabia nzuri na zaidi pia kwa wazazi tujue jinsi ya kushirikiana na Mungu katika kuweza kulea watoto wetu na kuwayatengea kinga ambazo ni nzuri wakiwa wachanga ili watakapokuwa wazee basi wasije wakapotoka basi katika wakati huu tunakungua wa mtu yeyote ambaye ako na swali ama jambo angependa kuongezea nafasi ni yako wakati huu utaweza kufungulia microphone yako na utaweza kupata nafasi ile so thank you so much elder ken for that presentation and sharing with us two thoughts indeed what a solemn thoughts that we have had this evening and uh, may god help us to work out our salvation in fear and trembling by cooperating with him by choosing his ways that we may build enough buttons to help us be able to overcome temptations thank you so much for those powerful thoughts elder may god also help us to be faithful in following the health reform message uh, so that we may be able to feed ourselves and nourish ourselves that all these that we have looked at this evening will become possible thank you so much and god bless you brethren i believe that you have also been blessed by the thoughts that we have shared this evening and uh, at this time we open for anyone who has a question or if you have a comment you can unmute your microphone at this time and uh, you are going to get that opportunity i encourage you brethren uh, once you receive this uh, powerpoint and also the audio please have time to go over it again and uh, also share with those who are not able to join us uh, so that they too might receive this blessing so welcome everyone uh, is there anyone with a question or a comment basi unaweza kumulia microphone yako wakati huu wapendwa hata kama tu ni comment ama kama ni swali nafasi ipo basi fungulia microphone yako elder tuguna welcome i see you have unmuted your microphone welcome uh, thank you elder karuga for this time in fact uh, I'm in a place where I had gone for a meeting, so uh, we are just to conclude the meeting. Thank you, Elder Ken, uh, for that powerful presentation and uh, the science of salvation. In fact, a very, very powerful message, how you have assisted us so much, how we are going to train our children, not uh, the way we have been thinking and uh, training them. In fact, uh, that is a new experience to me, <clears throat> and uh, since each and every child has his own uh, temperament so uh, in this way we can uh, it can be very easily uh, so easy to train our child and uh, when they are grown up uh, in fact they will not leave the way of the lord so thank you elder uh, for that powerful presentation it has assisted me in a uh, way of thinking and uh, uh, in fact, uh, like what you uh, uh, this uh, this week, since uh, there is that kind of uh, pulling up and down, so we have been trying to uh, not let our gaba uh, grow. Go, 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 go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, Elder Karuga can know what is happening because uh, it has been a very tough week for for us uh, in in terms of uh, things in, these things which are happening up and down. So. Thank you, Elder, and uh, be blessed so much. Thank you, and uh, say hi to your family. Oh, yes, I would, surely. Oh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> and, and thank you so much, uh, Elder Chikuna, for those comments. And uh, uh, truly, just like he has said, this message, uh, I say it came at the right time because there are so much that you are going through. And uh, from last week's message, we understood uh, what really has been going on, and uh, we thank God. He sent a message when it was needed and uh, it brought healing and uh, we just glorify God. So that's why you hear him saying that. And uh, yes. it's wonderful, it's wonderful. <laughs> I truly you. understand. Yeah, <laughs> amen, amen. So thank you, Elder Jiguna, uh, for that comment. 
Uh, is there any other person with a comment or a question? At this time, you can unmute your microphone. Welcome. Okay, uh, Hello. Brother Alex. Hello, welcome. Uh, thank you. Uh, good, good evening, uh, Charles. Good evening and good night. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the wonderful presentation. First of all, to specify that when you came in this study, when you came, when you came, you are a blessing to me because I'm speaking to you right now because I have not reached home. I've just been somewhere else so that I can I can give my comment. Uh, maybe first of all, I should thank you for for these studies that you have helped us to develop. Maybe to say GABA, the GABA was not there. But thank God for you that you have you you through the grace of God and through the Holy Spirit, power of Holy Spirit that you have helped us to know that we have a power that we do not utilize it. To me, you are a blessing to me. And uh, through this study, maybe I would like to reach more and to know, tell them of the power that we have in Jesus Christ and through the power of the Holy Spirit and through our brain, because our brain is the, our, our brain is the center, or it is, we have, have told us it's the center of our whole being. Maybe yeah, this, so there's this also a point that you mentioned that uh, that maybe maybe of of us we are worrying that you are not breathing and uh, you assured us that we are breathing. It's a it's a wonderful presentation. May God continue adding new knowledge so that God and also at this point of our teaching our children to walk in the way. It's a wonderful presentation. Let us thank God for you and uh, let you continue adding us more knowledge through the Holy Spirit. And you are a blessing. That's why I can say thank you, Elder. Thank you. May God continue adding new knowledge. You are most welcome, my dear brother. Most welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Elder. Thank you so much, uh, Brother Alex, for uh, that comment. Indeed, uh, these messages have really been. A blessing to us and uh, to all also who have been following these messages later. It's truly a blessing and we thank God for these showers that he's raining upon us. Thank you so much, Brother Alex. Uh, so is there any other person with a comment or a question at this time before we end the session? Mm -hmm. Oh, Brother Alex, was it by mistake or? Oh, uh, maybe there is one point I wanted to that to clarify. Okay. Maybe to be uh, because there is there is something I've noted when you go to a to an advocate, they are in in his table. Karoga niyamo to eza kwenye zeka na kwenye ndio eza kwenye wa. Okay. Hello. Okay. Yes. Ah, uh, okay. Kuna... So he needs me to interpret. Uh, so I'll do the interpretation. Basi. Uh, this is what he's saying. Mm -hmm. uh, na, na tamaivi, kuna, kuna 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 Every time you have a room, you can put attention on the eyes of it. At least, you can't come when they say, You can't manage to come and come and try to catch attention yet to the Kumbia Hivio. When you attack, I will say, Okay, so you can't call it a room, Kuna two balls, na sawa yuko na balls ambazo wazi na gonga hivi, kana gonga hivi saidi kana rudi hivi. Okay, okay. Okay, so he's saying uh, when when you go to uh, an advocate's office or maybe a judge, uh, there's there's an instrument that they usually have. I don't know whether it's the same case there, uh, which has some balls, and uh, sometimes if they want to get your attention or maybe to 
uh, get to understand more, they they swing those balls. And uh, so he, he's, he's just trying to link that and uh, wondering uh, how that works. So continue, Brother Alex. Oh, I'm going to go to the psychology Okay, okay, ndio <laughs> Okay. Okay. So you find that uh, when they are using these things, it's like they try to control your mind. Uh, is that really morally uh, something for that to do that? Uh, uh, so I guess I guess it's what the spirit of prophecy says concerning controlling other minds. So how can we be able to overcome that? But on the other hand, he says that uh, this message is really helping us to understand how our brain functions, that we can know even how to uh, comfort someone who is maybe going through challenges in life and uh, finding ways to be able to comfort them and uh, seek to help them without resorting to these means that uh, even certain uses to control the minds of people. Okay, Brother Alex, come Maliza. Okay. Hello. Yes. Well, definitely. Um, in one instance, I have seen those balls, those swinging balls in the courtrooms and so forth in, you know, legal places. And they do that to get your attention. And also at the same time, while getting your attention, because we are wired in a particular way, not to split our attention, when they get us to focus on those balls, they can say things and words can be slipped. So the way by which Satan deceives is by getting us to fix our attention on something while he's working on something else. So that is how it works in the courtroom. And it is for that reason, scripture says, keep the heart with all diligence for out of it are the issues of life. In those matters, what Satan is seeking to exploit is that of our senses. If our eyes are focused on something, then our ears will be inclined to focus on what the eye sees. And the more senses Satan can get us to employ in looking and hearing at a particular object, the greater his chances are of deceiving us. So we are encouraged to keep our eyes on Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you so much uh, for that. Uh, Brother Alex, I believe uh, that has uh, answered your question and uh, even elaborated more. So we can get a response from you, Brother Alex, at this time. Yeah, thank you, Elder. That's why the scripture says, by beholding, we come straight. By beholding, Christ will change and have the image of him. Amen, Elder. Yeah. May God continue blessing you. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, uh, Brother Alex, for your question. And I know it has also shed more light to all of us who are, are listening. Thank you so much. Okay, so since I don't see any other microphones unmuted, brethren, I believe then that uh, you have all been blessed. And so at this time, I hand over to you, Elder Charles, for the final comments as you also close us off with a word of prayer at this time. Welcome. Well, praise the Lord. It has been indeed another uh,
tremendous opportunity to share God's word with you. It is both a privilege and a pleasure for me. And I thank God for that. And I hope that it is a privilege and pleasure for you to share God's word too as well. In uh, our next session, we are going to build even more on what we have learned because this time in Earth's history, it is preparation for the crisis and for Christ returned. And we must know how to really, really overcome that really foe that is called Satan. We are going to be looking at a topic that is called the heart of victory, the heart of victory. And we are going to be learning much more about ourselves and how we can relate to things, how we can relate to things. So I thank God very much. And I do hope that God will keep us while we are separated one from the other. Let's bow our heads in prayer at this time as we seek to bring the curtains down on what would have been a very, very important session. Father, we return in thanksgiving to you. You alone, Lord, are worthy to receive our praise and adoration. We thank you for your word that is able to make us wise unto salvation. And now that you have given us knowledge, now that you have given us the wisdom that you have put in scripture, the science in it, we pray, dear Lord, that we will use that power for right so that we can indeed work out our salvation with fear and trembling. Bless my brethren, dear Father, all my brethren in Kenya, and I pray that you will grant them success in their missionary endeavors. I pray that the work of their hands would prosper as they work that vast field so that men and women who are hungering and thirsting for righteousness over in that distant land would hear indeed the welcome voice that is calling them to eternal safety and peace. Dismiss us now with heaven's richest blessings and bless the next meeting that we shall have and also all the different presenters who will come on this platform. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you so much again, Elder Charles, for your time. And uh, may God bless you. And uh, may you pass our greetings to your family and uh, also to the brethren. And uh, looking forward to, I believe it will be on Monday, uh, to meet on Monday as we continue with this study series. May God be with you. Thank you so much. And, you too, uh, my dear, and all my brethren. Amen. Amen. And for all who have joined, thank you so much. May God bless you. I wish you a good evening, a good night, and uh, see you uh, next uh, week. That is on Monday as we continue with this series. May God be with you all. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.